Hello, and welcome to a short video about the new X app which was going to be released in the near future, or well, well, basically the future. It, the new app which was going to be released is basically uh, an additional functionality for decentralized exchange. So currently we can already um, use the XRP Ledger Decentralized Exchange uh, but for example, selecting the other token, so we can add a new token. We can see here the issuer, like Gatab or Bitstamp, for example, and then add the token. So we will set a trust line then. Uh, for example, I already a added um, a trust line for the Gatab uh, issued currency uh, for the euro. And I can just click on it and click on an exchange. And that way, I can, for example, sell one XRP for 0.4. 495 um, uh, euro I use issued by GateHub. I could do that quickly. So if we click on it, um, then it would have to sign and then it would work. But the new feature is basically uh, this functionality will be extended, so w which the exchange would be like more like uh, more or less like a market order. But the new functionality also supports limit orders. So we will have a quick look at XAM. So XAM is basically uh, a non-custodial uh, wallet for your Android or your iPhone. And right, so I already made multiple videos about it, so you can check out the other ones if you're quite unsure. And all the all the X apps are if you click on the main tab here and go to view more apps apps and then there will be in the new future or well in the future uh, the X app to be visible in here and then you can also use it. So a quick reminder so the XP Ledger natively already has a uh, decentralized exchange integrated so we'll also link the XPL uh, website here and two very well known uh, decentralized exchanges are for example Sologenic uh, also using the XP Ledger to, for, uh, for the offers and also XRP Toolkit offering also the same. So we can see here XRP Toolkit also offers selecting the trading pairs, then doing buy or sell orders, uh, either market or limit orders here. And right, so that's natively supported. And now also the new XAM XAP will support that. And it's it's currently still in the beta and also it will look like that when it's being released. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool and it's very easy to use. So I will have now to go to the link quickly. Uh, it's here, so we'll cl click on it quickly and open it in XAM. So we'll have to enter my super secret pa uh, password here. And now I am in the uh, X app for the DEX. And we can see here we've got multiple modes. So we can, we've got the trading pair right now of XRP to US dollars. So US dollar I use by Gate Hub, I think is the basic pair. Yep. And we can set it to market or limit order. So if we do a market order, it's being filled immediately to the current market price. For example, I could say I want to buy one XRP. In this case, I would have to pay 0 uh, 0.6563 US dollars. I don't have them, so we'll do it the opposite way, but I will do it with XRP to Euro again. So we'll select XRP Euro, the trading pair, and I will click on sell one XRP. So you can see here, if I sell one XRP, I will get 0 0.4776 Euro. So, right, so if we click on it, then I can see here, then the a transaction is being prepared. I can see here that I, I'm willing to sell one XRP for 0 0.477565 um, euro I use. So we'll now decline that one here. So we'll just click on close, I guess. And right, it also can do it the opposite way. So you just go to, uh, so the main thing is you can select the trading pair. So it can be basically anything. So all the issued currencies are on there. So you could, for example, exchange XRP to um, Litecoin issued by GateHub and so on. So there are multiple issuers. So as we know, we, there's GateHub, there's Bitstamp. So these are the most well known, but there are also, um, for example, uh, why not for Sologenic? So Sologenic is issued by themselves more or less. And you can see here that we can, for example, exchange XRP. Uh, so one XRP for 0 0.84 Sologenic. Or the other way around, I could sell, um, I could sell XRP. All right, I could sell XRP and get Sologenic or Oh, in both in both cases, it's showing a uh, still XRP basically. So um, in this case, it would be, for example, ah, okay, but it's, it can say how many XRP I want to have here. So if I, I want two XRP, uh, then I would uh, I would so if I'm selling two XRP, I would get one point five free Sorgenic. But if I want to buy and pay with two XRP, 
then I would get um, 1.69 sorogenic. So I would have to check it quickly. Uh, right, so I'm setting 1.69 sorogenic in this case, and let's check it the other way around. So I'm right now curious, and I'm setting 2XOP. Okay, so this is the other way around. I would sell 2XOP at 1.56. And in buying, then always it's the other way around. It would be giving away uh, 1.69 sorogenic. Yeah, I have just mixed up, mixed it up here right now. So you can just select the tracking pair here. And right, so that's how it basically works. So the additional functionality which comes is basically the limit orders. Because those, for example, are not uh, native, uh, so uh, supported in the normal in the normal star map, so you can click on exchange. But like I said, it would be a market order. But now you can also place limit orders. So, for example, I could create a limit order. So let's change the pair again to um, US dollars issued by GateHub, or well, it will do it with euros issued by GateHub to XP. And then I could uh, place a buy order. I want to buy, for example, XRP at a price of, let's say, 0.4 euros per XRP. And then I could adjust the quantity, how, man how many XRP I would like to have here. So I would be basically, yeah, right, because I right now don't have many XRP, I mean, euro oh, uh, on my account. So the max I can do here, so if I would place it here, I can see here that it would be selling 0 0.7 to um, euros. Oh, and in exchange, I would get 1.8 XRP at the price of what it, which was set before. All right, so now I will set a um, buy order. So again, with a limit, so we want a limit order here, a limit buy order, and I, I want to buy XRP to price of 0 0.2 euros, and I want, for example, so in the, I want the maximum of, of, uh, amount of which uh, I can find right now. So now I have 0 0.72 um, euro I use uh, if I pick it up, and I would get if the price is 0 0.2 euros, it I would get 3.6 um, XP. So I will place that order here. And you see here I'm selling 0 0.72 uh, euros in exchange for 3.6 XOP. And now we'll have to slide to accept. And I will ha have to enter my password now. And now the transaction is being sent to the XOP ledger. And they are for then validated and it's done. So you can see here now that there's my open order. So this, uh, uh, there was another additional set thing. So we ha uh, it was set to good till to cancel. So either this uh, limit order is being filled or it can cancel it manually. So I can see here the buy order. One thing I will mention quickly is that the minimum reserve is being raised by five. So as you can see here, that I now have, so if we click on explain, we can see the offer that it's still living is basically um, an additional object linked to my account and therefore my base reserve is being raised. So as soon as this uh, this off, so meaning that additional 5 XRP is being locked up currently and which you can access on this account where you create that. But this is just some additional info so you're not, so you don't, I don't know, don't wonder where, why this has been raised. Um, Right, so we can see here the order. I can also cancel the order afterwards. So again, I'm, do, I'm signing a new transaction in order to um, cancel that order. So again, I would be signing it. Exactly. And yeah, that's basically how it works. So I, again, before I set a buy order, you can do the same with a sell order, basically saying at what price I'm willing to sell XRP the price of, for example, three US dollars per XRP, and I'm willing to sell, for example, 20 XRP. Therefore, I would get um, 60 US dollars when the t when the point in time reaches. Oh, gets which uh, I don't have, so the funds are not sufficient. I only have eight XRP, uh, but I can't even use all eight because five will be needed for the uh, minimum reserve, so I can only select three or something like that. And now at that price, I would get 8.5 uh, US dollars. And again, I could, uh, uh, I could so if all, everything matches, and I'm happy with that, so selling 2.8 XRP in exchange for 8.5 US dollars, then I would sign it again, and the order would be there. So that's basically all the functionality, so uh, the additional functionality we have here. Um, I'm very, I'm really looking forward to this. I uh, already, yeah, I really used it, I really like using it. And right, yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.